Google planning to build three new underwater cables. Google is coming after our oceans. Google is planning on laying three new underwater cables in 2019 to help expand its cloud business. The first will run from Los Angeles to Chile, the second will link the U.S. to Denmark and Ireland, and the third will connect Hong Kong and Guam. Laying these new cable systems will help Google develop its cloud services in Latin America, the North Atlantic, and the Pacific region and Australia. Google now has direct investments in 11 cables that are planned or under construction. Here's a question. If these cables are supposed to help Google's cloud services, why are they being laid underwater? Something smells fishy. Google it. Google is getting a new campus. Google's application to build a new campus has been approved by the Mountain View City Council. Google's new campus, Charleston East, will be located next to the current Googleplex in Mountain View, California. The new campus is set to feature a 595,000 square foot, two-level office building with a basement. The roof will be installed with solar panels. The irregularly shaped clear stories are designed to bring direct, indirect, and diffused natural light into the building. The glass is equipped with automated shading devices that allow localized daylighting control. The ground floor of the building is open to the public with a pedestrian pathway cutting through the building. Visitors can enter the building to dine and shop in the same restaurants and shops as Google employees. The new campus will also feature a plaza for the public to relax and enjoy performances. The second floor of the building will be used as office space for Google employees. The new building reportedly will hold up to 2,700 staff members. It's expected to be completed in late 2019. Google is watching. Google has been collecting location data on Android phones even when the location services are disabled. Excuse me? Since January, all Android devices, even with location services disabled, have been sending cell tower addresses to Google. Devices with cellular data or Wi-Fi connection appear to send data each time they were in range of a new cell tower. Android devices without a SIM card but connected to a Wi-Fi network would still send tower addresses to Google. With user location data, cell towers could be used to triangulate location to around a quarter of a mile radius, and even closer in urban areas where cell towers are closer together. According to a Google spokesperson, the data was not used or stored, and that the company was taking steps to stop the practice by the end of November. Google's new Silicon Valley campus The Big G is aiming to build a Silicon Valley hive mind like no other. Google has proposed to build a new complex on land of the former Onizuka U.S. Air Force Base in Sunnyvale, California, for $21 million. If approved, the company will construct new offices that will include two large buildings. Google says the new premises could house 4,500 employees. According to San Jose newspaper, the Mercury News, one of these buildings will be five stories high. Concept designs illustrate how the office design incorporates floor-to-floor, -floor, inclining slopes. The Mercury News reports this will allow workers to get from floor to floor via walking, cycling, or rollerblading. Guess the architects forgot to Google stairs, huh? The project is called Caribbean after one of the avenues the offices are built along. If their proposals get the go-ahead, Google says workers would be in the buildings by 2021 at the earliest. Lawsuit claims Google employees block conservative staff members. Googlers detest working with white conservative dudes. That's according to the allegations made in a discrimination lawsuit filed by ex-Googlers James Damore and David Goodman. Both are white male conservatives. Damore wrote a 10-page internal memo titled Google's Ideological Echo Chamber with citations slamming the company's diversity policies. That triggered an internal debate within Google, and the memo somehow got leaked to the media. Damore was subsequently fired. Damore and Goodman's lawsuit, if true, details a company culture where employees can block and actively avoid working with staff over political leanings. It also claims Googlers created a blacklist of big conservative media dudes not allowed on Google property. 
Interestingly, the lawsuit also tells of two employees, one who identifies as a yellow-scaled wingless dragonkin, and the other as an expansive ornate building, doing presentations at Google. The lawsuit also claims the Big G's internal forums has little on straight couples, but is lit up with alternative lifestyles including furries and polygamy. It's worth bearing in mind here that this is all coming from fired staff, and that Google, as massive as it is, is still a private company from San Francisco, California. And it's not just these dudes who are suing them. Several women have filed a joint suit against them citing gender pay discrimination. And Google is also the subject of a U.S. Department of Labor investigation over whether it has breached equal pay laws. But hey, at least things seem to be quiet on the YouTube adpocalypse front. Oh, crap.